How we doing? Backyard Brummy Lass here. Today we're going to be cooking leg of lamb, half a leg of lamb, in the pressure cooker, which is called the Pressure King Pro. I hope you enjoy it. There's a few laughs along the way. You'll have to forgive me for that. Um, thank you so much for subscribing as well. I've got 76 of you on board now, and that's just fabulous. Absolutely fabulous. So thank you so much. Um, anyway. I'll stop blabbering. Hope you like the video. If you do like it, please give me a thumbs up. And if you've not subscribed yet, hit the subscribe button and uh, the little bell for notifications. I'll see you in a bit. <laughs> This is half a leg of lamb. Um, weight 1.154. Not that I take any notice of that whatsoever. Discard the packaging and then let's rinse that under the tap. Make sure it's nice and clean. There we go. And drain that off. And we'll go and get the pot. PKP pot. This is a five litre model. Does a job. Pressure King Pro. Now, I don't think it will fit with the trivet. The trivet is supplied with the pot. I'm just going to have to manipulate that down into there. And that's how it will sit. Some pre-boiled water, it has to be pre-boiled unless you want to wait forever for the uh, pressure to build inside the PKP. So use hot water if you can. I'll just pour that in there. Try and reach the minimum line or, or above because we'll use this, uh, this water um, eventually for the gravy. Obviously, after handling meat, always give your hands a wash before handling anything else. And now back to the pot, inside which we will season the lamb with some salt, some pepper, a chicken stock cube. Some chicken condensed stock from the Knorr range. And then we'll take our pot and pop it in the PKP. The lid, you see the V, that lines up with this V. And turn to secure. Make sure the valve is closed. That's, this is open, that's closed. And then come down to the control panel and you, because you're cooking meat and it's a solid joint, um, choose the meat option. Then press the addition and take that all the way up to 60, 60 minutes. That's as high as you can go on a PKP. Starts flashing. Now the process of the pressure is building and we just wait now for this pressure release valve here here to um to lock and engage okay so you can probably hear the pressure coming closer slightly pressure valve there any moment now it will seal Any minute now. And there you go. Fully sealed. The clock will now 
come down from 60 minutes obviously that's in there for an hour the leg of lamb joints will need more than an hour so we'll return back to the PKP once the hour has counted down and I'll tell you what to do next see you in a bit okay it's fully sealed because the rotation rotation thingies have stopped going round and round and round if, let's just come over here for a second there's a slight hissing now that's not anything to do with this because this is sealed now okay this is a silicone mitt <laughs> which I bought for this very purpose so now you come to the valve which is on the closed um, side of things <laughs> and you, you shut it, you push it down. I'm sorry my family's making me laugh and it's just trying to... Try to <laughs> actually composed myself we've composed ourselves my point in the first place was this valve although it's on the closed side of things closed as you'll see in the previous outtake um, it was hissing <coughs> so I had to put it sh to close it to push it down using my silicone mitt but as you can hear that there's no hissing anymore which means jobs done Coming down to the display area, we know it's sealed because it's not spinning round anymore. <laughs> it didn't know it's spinning, which means it's building more pressure. But just stick with it because it will eventually stop spinning. And we'll be back in an hour. Well, 55 minutes. Five minutes? I've just wasted. <laughs> Now, as you can see, the time is now on a keep warm function. We want to cancel that. So cancel, press cancel. Then we want to go back to meat. And then we want to go, you can do 45 minutes if you want, but I'm going to do another hour because I like my uh, lamb really, really tender. And then that's it. It will continue to build the pre any pressure that it's just lost again. It's still sealed. Jobs are good for another hour. And now is the time. I use frozen roasters. So we'll quickly go over here. Um, it's a mixture of roasters. Goose fat roasters and parsnips. With some rosemary. Um, salt and pepper. And I'm going to pop those in the oven now. 
so that in around 40 to 50 minutes they'll be done, so will the meat. And I'll see you back here shortly. Now we've got four minutes left till the lamb's cooked. So I've melted some beef dripping in the roasting tin, as you can see. Now I'm going to add some dried rosemary to that. And then once the lamb comes out of the Pressure King Pro, the PKP as I call it, we can pop the lamb in there and roast it off nicely in the oven for around 10-15 minutes. Right, so your potatoes are cooked. They've had an hour, this hour. Um, it's on the keep warm function as it does automatically once it finishes the pressure cooking side of things. It's naturally releasing pressure at the moment. I don't know if you can pick that up there, but there's some slight um, steam coming out of that valve, and that's your on-off, uh, your yeah, on-off valve. Uh, which once that's flipped, the pressure will release, and it will release quite fast. Um, so this is where you've got to be quite careful. We're about to release the pressure now. Let's stand back a bit. Please. And I'm going to do that manually. As I say, keep your distance. It's nothing to be frightened of, but it is a, it is quite a violent exit. And we'll do that now. We can leave that alone now. The pin's dropped, which means it's unlocked the lid. If that pin hasn't dropped, you leave it alone. Right guys, this is the moment of truth. It's had two hours in the pressure cooker. We're now opening the lid. So, there we go. There's gonna be some water retention inside the lid as well. So I'll give it a few minutes to, uh, to shake itself off. And as you can see, now some beautiful lamb gravy stock there. And it's so tender, it may not lift out in one, so bear with me, guys. There we go. Beautiful. As prepared earlier, I showed you earlier, um, I melted some beef dripping in the oven with some rosemary all ready for this bad boy now we're going to transfer the lamb if i can into the, the fat and that's what we want to hear we want to hear the, the crackle and carefully does it Get some of that fat and start basting the lamb with it. That will make it all nice and golden for about 10 15 minutes. Get as much of that over there as you can. That's the thing with the pressure cooker, it makes everything look pasty. We want to bring that to uh, that goldenness and render all that fat not that there's a lot of fat on it mind and then we're going to transfer that back top shelf as i say 15 20 minutes parsnips and the taters all cooking away nicely there they're in goose fat by the way okay guys we're now turning our attention to the gravy Earlier, you saw me add um, chicken stock cube to the pot. I also added one of these um, chicken stock pots as well. Very tasty. And in the pot, we have all the lamb juices, the water we added earlier, and those stock pots and 
what not have melted in there during the uh, cooking process. Now, to this I'm going to add some rosemary. Dried rosemary. And I'm also going to add some thyme. We added salt and pepper, if you remember, as well earlier. Now, with a whisk, preferably a silicone or plastic whisk, because you don't want to scrape the inside of the pot much. So, this is on the keep warm function, so that all of that stock is still really, really hot. So we are uh, keep adding the gravy granules to suit, obviously. I like my gravy quite thick. And just keep going with that until you've got the consistency that you want. Keep adding that. And that will eventually thicken up nicely. Give it a minute. A little bit more if you need to. It's getting nice and thick now. There we go guys, perfectly cooked. Now I suggest leaving it now for about 20 minutes just to um, to settle and it'll be a lot easier to carve that way as well once the cool temperature has gone down a little bit. Even though to be fair it's just going to fall to pieces so ignore everything I've just said. Okay guys, now I like to finish off my perfect gravy, just like my mum taught me how to do, and her mum, etc. I add the beef dripping to the gravy, along with any remaining juices off the leg of lamb. And then I like to uh, mix that in makes it very rich. Okay guys, it's plating up time. Let's just see how tender this meat is without using a knife. Literally falls apart.